So, uh, welcome to this wonderful assignment. And we are working with a figurative uh, composition, uh, essentially. A figure, as defined by the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, is a diagram or pictorial illustration of textual matter. That's one definition. Another definition is a bodily shape or form. Now, we're working with the first definition right now. And uh, so we have our standard. We're creating and we are refining a complete artistic work. And this is all about practice. That's your enduring understanding. Artists and designers develop excellence through practice and constructive critique to reflect on, revise, and refine work over time. And that is why I give you uh, comments on your work so that you will improve. Now, essential questions. What role does persistence play in revising, refining, and developing work? Hmm, that's an important question to ask you. How do artists grow and become accomplished in art forms? How does collaboratively reflecting on a work help us experience it more completely? Yeah, very important questions. So our process components are reflecting, refining, and revising. And our performance standards are reflect on, re-engage, revise, and refine work of art or design, considering relevant traditional contemporary cr criteria as well as personal artistic vision. Now, our criteria is the rubric uh, and it essentially goes into what we're doing and also uh, the example that I give you. Uh, and that's the contemporary criteria because uh, you will see that I tried to make a very clean and beautiful ceramic tile. And that's what you should be doing. So uh, we're working with the concepts uh, of Solowit, uh, which is, you could consider a conceptual art. Um, but it, it, one of the things he did was he would come up with a recipe for a work of art, essentially what I do also. So. He, he, there's a question here. Who is the artist when someone comes up with an idea for a work of art but has others make or construct it? Must an artist create a work with his or her own hand to produce a valid work of art? Can other people do your work or your design? Hmm, think about that. So this is a uh, solo wit back, uh, back probably in the 1970s. Um, and uh, he's been, he was around for a long time. He passed away. Uh, you can read all about him here. Uh, I'm not going to read this. You read this. Here's uh, some uh, wall paintings that he did, wall painting drawings that he created. Um, and uh, so essentially uh, what he did was uh, Lewitt's instructions are both specific and open-ended so that the resultant work of art varies according to the interpretation made by the drafts person or the sculptor producing the work of art. Solowit used lines, geometric solids, ratio, patterns, formulas, and permutations to create his modern structures and wall painting. So here's your assignment instructions. Create a carved figure carving on a tile of a square divided horizontally and vertically into four equal parts, each with a different direction of alternating parallel bands of lines. The tile should measure five inches by five inches. That is your, that is your dimension. The line should be precise and clean with a depth of one eighth inch. The tile should be one half inch thick. All edges need to be beveled. To the left is an example of a beveled edge and that this is a bevel. It's a slight, end, it is a slight uh, um, angle that you put onto the tile. And you use your tool to do that. Example, this is an example, do not copy. You must create your own composition. If you copy this example direct exactly, it will result in a grade of zero. I will look at your pattern. I don't want to see this exact pattern. There are 24 different permutations of this pattern that you can create. Again, do not copy, All right? Okay, four squares, Just four squares. Each with a different direction of alternating parallel bands of lines can be arranged in 24 different patterns. Here's a, uh, a link you could go to to figure out how to permutations of something, but this is the actual formula for permutations of the number of squares within the one okay and that, there it is 24 okay <clears throat> that's it if you want to get into that um essentially your rubric how well direct follow the directions 
Every direction is followed to the fullest extent. Neatness, complete artwork is exceptionally neat. Work habits, student worked for the entire period with superior focus and did not need reminders. Fantastic. Of course, you are motivated and you will do that. And you will submit your pictures at the end of the period because that's when it's due. Expectations, student has exceeded expectations of his or her ability level. Okay. Now, you will get one point for this assignment. Okay. And submit it as this. SLC, Saul LeWitt Ceramics 1, 1 hyphen Do Jane. This is how you would, it's an example of how you would submit your work. Uh, once you take a photograph of it, you need to name your file. It's worth one point and it's due at the end of class. It should not take you more than uh, this class period to do this and you got to get it in on time. Please take your points seriously. As you accumulate points, your grade will increase or decrease depending on how well you fulfill the assignment. You are starting out with zero points and should approach this semester with the idea of increasing your wealth. So you finish with a maximum number of points, which will guarantee you an A. And here's one point. It says, well, imagine this is money from the Galactic Republic. All right. So please uh, get this done as soon as possible at the end. Have it to me by the end of the period.